Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to try and answer a question that was asked on a previous video. Should I be looking at exotic pairs? That was the question. Should I be looking at exotic pairs? Uh, you know, many people focus on uh, like the major pairs, somewhat the minors, but uh, the major pairs. What are we talking about when we are talking about major pairs? When we are talking about minor pairs? When we are talking about exotic pairs? So. Uh, let me quickly just uh, go to symbols uh, this is with my broker my broker is uh, XM global one of the best brokers out there really if you are looking for a good broker to trade with go ahead and sign up with them the link is in the description uh, box below so you can see in their forex uh, bucket they actually have uh, three groups of uh, forex pairs that you can trade first of all we have got uh, what are called the majors they are usually the same with all brokers these are pairs that are going to be trading from one major economy versus another major economy for example we have got uh, US, uh, US dollar there versus the Japanese yen we already know uh, japanese economy versus u.s economy they are both economic powerhouses we have the euro versus uh, the u.s dollar there uh, europe good economy and a u.s good economy we have canada which is a, a, a tier one economy versus swiss franc uh, switzerland is a very good economy in uh, europe as well we've got uh, euro versus uh, british pound we know london london is a major economic hub i don't need to go on on and on and on so that's the major pairs they are usually um like uh, uh, the uh, good economies versus uh, good economy uh, currencies then we have uh, miners uh, I think many people never even come to uh, the miners but uh, they are usually a major economy versus uh, like a smaller economy for example what we have here Australian uh, dollar which is you know, the Australian economy versus the US dollar which is the US economy and basically we have Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand still have a uh, good economies uh, unlike uh, countries like South Africa Turkey and uh, stuff like that that Australia, New Zealand, Canada, uh, Britain, uh, major, uh, most countries in uh, Europe like Germany and France, uh, uh, what else, they, they are still considered a tier, what they call tier one economies, like they are the major economies uh, of the world. So you get the point. So the majors are usually the major economies amongst themselves and uh, also we have like uh, the somewhat lesser economies also trading with major economies as well. So we get the minus bucket. Then we have the third bucket, which is called exotics. This is probably a bucket that many people actually stay away from. And for good reason, to le le let's face it. So here you actually have like uh, major economic uh, currencies which are paired with what are termed as emerging economies. A good example, uh, South Africa is uh, considered an emerging economy uh, based in Africa with uh, Turkey, with Singapore, with Sweden, with Poland, Norway, uh, Hungary, uh, with uh, Denmark. Um, that's basically with China there, we have uh, the Hong Kong dollar, we basically uh, these are what we would call uh, emerging economy, Mexico, yes, Mexico, don't forget Mexico. So you find that uh, these are called exotics and what I've uh, learned were trading uh, these exotics, I, I traded them maybe for two years or so with uh, somewhat uh, good results because uh, these exotic pairs, sometimes uh, they really need you to pay attention because they can be volatile. So if you are somebody well, who, who loves volatility, you can uh, basically uh, trade uh, some of these uh, pairs. But the volatility is also considered very risky uh, by some people because uh, they can like swing up and down uh, like uncontrollably and they can jump up and down uh, where's the rubble 
I thought I would see, uh, unless they suspended it because of what's going on in Ukraine and stuff like that, there should be a uh, Russian ruble as well. US dollar versus Russian ruble. I, I don't know what's happening here. I cannot see it. But what you usually uh, find, what you usually find with uh, these pairs is sometimes they are so volatile and they are very uh, risky. But if you manage to catch them uh, like uh, a good entry point, they are still like any other pair. One uh, maybe disappointment, maybe uh, to many people, especially if you are starting trading with uh, a small account and maybe you you are looking for uh, things like lower spreads and stuff like that you are not going to find lower spreads with exotics uh, for example here it says uh, this is what uh, euro surface as South African rand it says uh, spread is um, floating let's see on versus the dollar is uh, floating let's let's just show let's just show USD sir. I'm just showing you USD sir, because I'm basically based in uh, South Africa so it's one exotic pair that I also trade from time to time because I understand what's happening in South Africa where I'm based so it's one of those things that you probably want to uh, uh, put in mind don't just pick a random exotic pair uh, because you don't understand what's happening in uh, that country and sometimes it's hard to find news for that particular uh, country so you basically want to uh, maybe trade an exotic pair in a country where you understand what's going on so if if we let's just put it on our chart uh, something like that so uh, these things can easily uh, take you out of your trades these um, major swings and th these gaps these major swings and gaps they can just happen sometimes uh, and you don't even know why did it happen what happened and you can see here it's actually in the middle of the day it's a major news annou announcement that happened here and it just spiked up so they e easily easily can take you out of your position and the problem with exotic pairs not exactly the problem with them is also uh, let's say a spread let's go look for spread they are high spread and they come with a high spread so you can see the majors that I trade here of course I also trade uh, Ethereum and PTC but the major forex pairs uh, that I usually look at you can see there you can see the amount of spread that you can that you can get with those pairs let's just do that basically it's one or two 1.5 a pip there a spread uh, basically about three uh, pips about two pips about uh, two pips there but when you come to uh, these exotic pairs you can see USD is uh, basically about 14 pip spread 14 pip spread so sometimes uh, it's a very it's very tough if you're going to be a scalper you cannot scalp uh, this because of the spread uh, and sometimes the movement is is not much sometimes the movement is not much as well so if you place a buy uh, somewhere there you are going to wait a long time before you start seeing your position turn blue if you place a sell here it's going to be a very long time before you see your position start turning blue that's uh, a turn off uh, for maybe people who want to do day trading or scalping with exotic pairs exotic pairs are good if you like to swing trade and position trade one other thing about them is i think i had the uh, interest rate on them uh, like swap fees and things like that it's very good uh, for people who like to carry trade people who like to hold positions uh, overnight for several days and, th and stuff like that you can actually bank a lot of swap on them uh, let's see what's the swap deal on usd sir since we are looking at usd sir uh, sometimes it's positive sometimes it's a negative but uh, swap can be a good uh, incentive for people to what to trade uh, a thing so if you are holding positions and you are in a, a short position you can actually earn some uh, good uh, swap there but if you are holding a position when it's a long position 
uh, then uh, you are actually losing a lot so uh, ideally you want to hold uh, positions overnight when it's um, when it's uh, a sell positions but now you you cannot just uh, trade on that and you don't want to just like uh, take longs and hope that you can uh, close them uh, that uh, very same day because sometimes you don't get that opportunity because of uh, the wide spread that's why you need to be careful when it comes to trading with these exotics so can you still make money with them yes you can make money with them uh, for, uh, like I said uh, uh, for example if you understand why it's doing what it's doing if you understand what's happening in that particular economy for example I'm based in South Africa so I can basically just uh, wake up on the radio there is news about uh, what's happening politics wise there is news about what's happening uh, economic wise there is news about what's happening in the country so you can basically follow what's happening in the country and you can basically deduce why is it doing that and like if i go and pick maybe mexican peso versus the us dollar i i don't know what's happening in mexico really uh then you you need to make an effort to actually find mexican news uh what's happening in mexico what's happening in turkey what's happening in poland what's uh this is unlike uh news uh that you get from london from germany from australia new zealand because those are the uh, first world uh like economic uh economic wise they are the tier one countries so you find that there is a lot of news about those economies without you looking without you looking you can get you you get to hear about what's happening in the united states you get to hear about what's happening in the uk so it makes easier to trade the majors unlike you know, trading the exotics so that's my two cents on trading exotics if you want to trade them you can still make a lot of money but uh, you just be mindful of things like spread volatility uh, and also you need to read a lot of uh, understand the economy that you are going to be trading if it's an emerging economy because uh, you, you can easily uh, get caught out on the wrong side of the market otherwise guys uh, ask uh, leave your questions in the comment section below uh, like the video I will see you in the next one bye Yeah.